okay this is a really really quick five minute go video um, inspired um, by um, Simon who asked the question what is so bad about the empty triangle why do you hate it so much why is it so such an awful moving go and actually the the, the, the real answer um, Simon is it's more complicated than it's just than it's just a bad move it's for beginners we have to keep um, laboring this point saying it's a really terrible move but of course as your go develops there are no just terrible moves in go because everything depends on what's happening around what the situation is on the board there are times when actually the empty triangle is the only move um, but as a beginner as a double digit q player as, as somewhere between 15 and 20 q i really want you to kind of get in your head i'm going to try and explain it and it's about two things it's about liberties and it's about shape so let's start out here um so here we have a stone on the board in the corner and, and I've simplified this obviously and here we have um, our dear friend the Kosumi. Now we love the Kosumi, we really like the Kosumi because it's because it's great shape, we know that these two stones are absolutely connected to each other because if white wedge is in this way we simply connect and we all understand that. And that's not an empty triangle because it's actually got something in its jaws, it's got um, an enemy stone in its jaws. And of course, uh, if white comes in this way, then we connect that way. And so all of our stones, the two triangles and the circle stones, they're all connected together. And so we like the Kosumi. We really like the Kosumi because the Kosumi um, is actually, it's just as good as this. But it has something that we call um, sabaki or shape or openness that, that um, two stones connected together in that way don't. They're very strong, but the Kosumi is also strong. So we like the Kosumi. The Kosumi is our friend. So let's go and talk to our little dear buddy, um, the empty triangle. So we'll just move stones here. So we're in the center of the board. And here we've got another stone. There's our Kosumi. And if we go ahead and play this, this empty triangle, and it occurs a lot in games, first of all, let's just count liberties. And if we count the liberties on that empty triangle, it's got seven. Now, if we look down here, three stones connected in a straight line have eight. And you might say, well, it's only one liberty. That's not very much. That's, that's no big deal. But actually it is. Um, that difference of one liberty is a huge difference it makes a huge huge difference um, between the two shapes and the black shape above the empty triangle is what we call over concentrated shape because we know the Kosumi is already connected we've just got this lump of stones and actually there are so many better things that you can do with three stones in Go and if we go to this example here we have a Kosumi and then we have this jump and I don't know whether there's a name for this shape but it's a vital shape and it's one of the shapes that um, Ashley talked about on our last Sunday meeting because it's one of the ladder shapes and so rather than the can you see how rather than the solid lump of stones that the empty triangle represents or even the three the three stones in a straight line this group of stones here and still only three of them has something that we call sabaki and so well, sabaki is the japanese term and, and roughly translated it means shape or openness or space or flexibility and you go well, how does this work well it works because it creates ladders and so if white does kind of come in here black's got two directions in which you can ladder this stone and having two directions is great because often we kind of go oh i can't ladder it because there's a ladder breaker in the way if you've got two directions you're either going to get this into into the wall at the edge of the board or you're going to get into a ladder breaker so in this case if white tries to cut black simply pushes in this direction sorry let's go in this direction first white comes out and there goes our ladder and white dies against the corner and um if if white goes uh if the if the corner ladder doesn't work although it normally does um then black can come this way ladder this way and here white goes out to a ladder breaker and dies so the important thing for you to kind of grasp is this kind of shape this kind of shape has openness and sabaki and the empty triangle is just that it's just a lump of stones 
um, and it's almost a liability. The other great way of connecting uh, three stones is what we call the two stone wall with a one space jump because again this is an unbreakable shape and those three stones in the top right I hope you can see have also got sabaki they've got openness they've got um, a potential to make eyes inside them and actually um, this shape um, if I just take these ones out of the picture if we had another stone here this is called the table shape um, and and the table shape is almost an eye it's almost an eye uh, because one more black stone and there you have got one eye and so uh, the table is again has sabaki it has openness it has shape and it has potential so what we're trying to do in go is keep our stones open and flexible and i'm afraid that going back um, to our dear buddy here at the um, the empty triangle it's just a solid lump of stones and it has none of that shape and that potential so our two two big deals about the empty triangle are one it's short on liberties for the number of stones involved and two it has no sabaki it has no shape it has no openness it has very little potential so that's it um, I hope that helps I hope that helps explain I'm gonna leave it there have a good Sunday, guys. See you all soon. Bye for now.